Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Uh, we're gonna continue on with this team because I love it. And uh, since I'm kind of bulk recording, so it's kind of really difficult to use a different team. Just saying. Um, but I do have one team that is past concept in the middle of testing. Although I really don't think I need to test it too much more. It's pretty solid. Um, and again, a Clefairy. I don't understand, uh, but it looks like we've got Charizard, Bisharp, Sylveon, Rotom Wash, Clefairy, and Aegislash. Um, camera up to a really solid lead, uh, everything but that Rotom Wash. Um, so that actually, well, I guess, eh, I'm going to do it anyway, I think. Um, we're going to go for a Romatiste, although he does have two Iron Dudes. Um, eh, I don't know. I'll bring in Tangrowth and I'll bring in Kofagrigus. Yeah, yeah, I think that works. Uh, Kofagrigus. What would Kofagrigus do? Uh, not really anything, really. Um, I'm gonna say Crawdon. I think Crawdon's gonna be pretty useful. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, why not? Let's just have fun in battle, you know? That Clefairy confuses me. It definitely confuses me. Um, I, I'm assuming Eviolite because. What else would you run on a Clefairy? I, right, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, hmm. Not really sure what it would do. I'm just hoping he doesn't start off with, like, Bish, or, um, what was that I'm hoping? Rotom? Rotom would be pretty bad. Rotom and Bish, damn it, that's exactly what he started off with. Oh, man. Oh, that's exactly what I did not want to have to deal with. Um, what do I do? I could... Do I survive an Iron Head? Do I? Dodge the question. Um, do you know what? Do I really care? Because who do I have in the back? I have Crawdon and Tangrowth. Honestly... I'm gonna risk it. I, I, it's really, you know, in the heat of the moment, you never know what's gonna happen. He might predict the switch out. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna go for Trick Room. And I'm gonna hope to hell I survive this. I have never calc versus a Bisharp, and I really should. Uh, but this is gonna be a good lesson learned if it is not, um, if it takes, well, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, so let's see. He goes for Iron Head. Are we going to take it? Because I predicted that. I would have. Oh. I saw it slowing down, I was like, yes, but no. Um, but he's life orb, so that's actually not a shabby thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna bring in Tangrowth. I am gonna bring in Tangrowth, and there's a reason for that. Um, because I, I think he's probably just gonna hydro pump me right there, so I'm gonna bring in Crawdont there. And um, I, I really need to get rid of the the Rotom first. So I'm gonna go for Rotom. I'm just I'm just playing to learn this team, to be quite honest with you. Uh, when I do Battle Spotter Showdown, I'm not playing to really win. I'm playing to learn the team a little bit better. Um, he does withdraw, which isn't really a horrible thing. Uh, it, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, he does bring in Charizard, and that is a pretty bad thing. But we'll see what happens here because we do have Crawdon, so I I'm not too concerned. Uh, he does go for Protect there. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, but with the oh, that's a good damage. Um, Aqua Jet won't kill in the sun, so I'm gonna go for Crab Hammer. I think he's gonna want to go for. Um... Heat wave, and I think that's fine because I should survive it. So I'm gonna go for brick break. I think I'll survive it. I, this is again another test. I'm, I'm assault vest max HP. I'm curious to see if I do survive a heat wave in the sun. Um, if he goes for freaking solar beam, I'm gonna be crying because my only chance right now to beat this is bringing in camera up, but he has the freaking road and wash. Um, so he does go for heat wave. Now, don't burn either of my guys. And I don't survive it. Was that a crit? It wasn't. Okay. Oh, it was! Okay, so I'm curious. I probably would have survived that, actually. I'll be quite honest. I probably would have. Now, am I going to survive this? I do. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. You can't afford it. Good. Oh. God damn. Okay, well, he gave me the sun. 
Um, so that's not a terrible thing. Uh, I th that's really unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna protect here. I have a feeling he's gonna switch out the Bisharp. I think. Uh, so I'm gonna Ancient Power, I think. Right? I think that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Damn it. If I didn't miss, he would have. He 100% would have died. I swear to you. Um, I've calc this before. I have used probably some of the most defensive uh, Charizard wise you can have, and I guarantee you it does not survive. Um, so that's really unfortunate. We would have to face. It's really unfortunate. That that that's all I can really say to that. Um, it's very unfortunate how that happened because we definitely would have taken it out. Uh, and it's only 90% accuracy, so it's not that bad. It's not like it's like super, super, super duper, uh, like weak. You know what I'm saying? Um, or misses all the time. I don't know. So he brings out this, and again, I have no idea what he's trying to do with this. Um, I am going to crab hammer the Bisharp. And I'm going to protect. Oh, I'm in the sun. I probably should have gone for... Well, knockoff is like regular resistant. I don't know. I don't know. He goes for follow me, so maybe... No, okay. He goes for knockoff. And that does like nothing. Okay. Wow. Uh, so I'm going to try for a double protect. I'm going to go for knockoff this time. Because um, it's really my only way of winning. I kind of put myself in that position, but that's fine. Uh, he goes for follow me. Uh, maybe if we stall out the sun, I think we can take one more hit, right? Well, not, I mean like one more life orb. I mean, there's no way we can beat the Rotom Wash, so it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, but maybe if we stall out the sun, let's see how much the knockoff does. Uh, that does... Eh, not very good. Uh, oh no, and, and we go down. Alright, oh well, we learned some things today. Uh, we probably would have survived that heat wave in the sun. I'm going to be quite honest with you, we probably would have. Um, I know I'm weak to it, but I do have that assault vest and max HP. So that's something I'm going to go calc, but I don't think we can survive that iron head normally. Um, maybe I can figure out a way to survive that iron head. Because uh, that lead is just pretty bad for my team. Uh, yes, I do want to. Uh, do I have any way to beat that lead? That is what I'm looking at. I, I can beat it with Tangrowth. Tangrowth does beat that lead pretty easily. Because um, it can take hits from both of them. It doesn't want to get burnt. That's the only thing. It really doesn't. So if I see that, maybe starting off with Camerupt and Tangrowth is a better idea. Bait the Willow, bait the, um, the Hydro Pump and then catch it with the Power Whip. Because uh, I think he'd want, pe most opponents would want to trade their Rotom Watch for like my Mega. That That's something that would happen. So it's good to know. It's good to know that things like that can be done. Um, I don't mind taking hits like that and taking a loss because of that. that it's not a big deal. Uh, we're not trying for the top of the ladder. Uh, if I really wanted to, I would, I would really try. But um, yeah, oh well. So it looks like we've got Sceptile, Swallow, Manectric. Wall Rain, Slacking, and Metagross. So this is most likely like a, a Hoenn Dex only. Um, and there's probably no one on the uh, the special rules, so he came over here. But uh, I'm looking at this team, and I'm trying to see who might be our best lead. Uh, Camera Upt hits pretty much everything super effectively, with the exception of Slaking. Um, Metagross is really frightening, so I think I want to start off with Kofagrigus and Camerupt. Uh, the reason for that is because if you look at his team, he does not have anything to really hit my Kofagrigus. Um, I'm pretty sure Kofagrigus can take a Leaf Storm from Sept Mega Sceptile, uh, definitely from regular Sceptile, but, um, yeah. I think that's probably my best bet. Uh, Kofagrigus and Camerupt. Um, and then looking at the rest of his team, Tangrowth would be a pretty good option because it, it does do really good. Um, although, could Sucker Punch one hit KO? No, I don't think it can hit one hit KO Mega Metagross. Um, I think, do I want to bring Crawdon? 
don't see a good reason for that. Um, I think Tangrowth is going to be pretty important, so I'm going to bring Tangrowth. Um, and I don't know if Aromatisse is going to be useful. Uh, I mean, it could be for the Sceptile. That's true. It could be very useful for the Sceptile. Um, but at the same time, mm, should I bring it? I don't know. I really don't know. I have 10 seconds. I'm going <sighs> to... Crawdon or Aromatisse? I'm going to go for Aromatisse. I'm going to go for Aromatisse. I don't know if that was right or not. Really don't know. Uh, but I do know that... What was it? Altaria. Um, isn't one hit KO'd by Meta Megagross. Mega Metagross's um, Meteor Mash. So, okay, good. I like this lead. This lead is very good for us. I am very happy. Okay, so we've got two normal types, both physical, and Kofagrigus here, my baby, is a physical wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect with Camerupt because he's most likely going to double attack the Camerupt. And uh, I'm going to Trick Room. Now, I'm expecting the Swallow to either protect or, I don't know, but I'm expecting like a Flame Orb coming off on that. Uh, so my best bet would probably be to uh, Heat Wave and then burn the Slay King. Because uh, the Slay King is going to hit the hardest, I think, on the field right now. Uh, so he goes for Brave Bird. Now, he's going to lose whatever ability he has, and we'll see what it is. And this should not take me out. Um, oh, that does like nothing. Oh, cool. So we get rid of Guts. Now, I'm hoping he is flame orb because uh, that would be kind of funny if that is true uh, and he goes for earthquake now earthquake is a scary move against with the slay king but um what's really cool about that is it does absolutely nothing to kofagrigus and something even cooler about that is now he has a turn of rest uh, so there was no toxic orb which is unfortunate so what i'm going to do is i'm going to heat wave and uh, I think I'm going to burn the Slaking, uh, just in case. Uh, I don't need to burn the Swallow, because... Oh, God, really? That would have taken it out, I think. Swallow isn't bulky at all. Um, okay, but we burn the, the Slacking, so that, that's kind of fine. Uh, that thing won't be taking us out next turn. Um, and it is Truant, although we could probably take it out. What are you doing? Fly? Interesting. Um... Okay, uh, I'm thinking protect, because he's not going to attack me, and then I'm going to psychic the uh, slaking, so it's kind of worthless to burn it, I should have burned the swallow, um, and I'm protecting because I obviously I can't touch the swallow, and that's who I'd want to attack, um, yeah, that was, that was a weird play, that was a weird play, fly, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Um, and yeah, see, that that's what I was predicting. I was predicting a fly towards the camera up. So that's why I protected. Now, we do have this wall rain here. Uh, and I don't know if wall rains are physical or special. So I think what I'm just going to do, it's heat wave is going to be neutral. Um, I'm going to heat wave. Well, no, because I'm water type. But he's flying type. Oh, that, that's, that's a tricky. That's a tricky, tricky. Uh, um, you know what? I'm gonna heat wave because I think that's probably my best play. And I don't think he's physical, so I'm gonna shadow ball him instead. I think he actually. What the hell? Oh my god, every turn against this freaking swallow. That's a decent damage. That's a decent damage. But he's going. <sighs> my, my camera up's dead now. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, but he hits his own swallow. Oh my god. Actually, that might not KO me. It doesn't. Wow. Cool. And he goes for fly. And this is why I wanted to KO him. <laughs> That's exactly why I wanted to KO him. Well, I'm going to protect here. Maybe he'll go for... Oh, maybe he'll go for uh, Surf again. That actually might work. Um, do you think he'll go for Surf again? Nah, I don't really care. I, I, I can... I still have Aromatisse, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, if I lose Kofagrigus... Um, so let's see what happens. It does die. Okay, that's not bad. But now, now he's stuck in with the Swellow. Okay, so he does target the Kofagrigus, which I figured he would. And uh, we survive, believe it or not. Um, and oh, frick. Wow. I did not see that coming. Shit. 
should have played a little bit carefully. No, it's not that I didn't play carefully, it's that Swellow avoided it. I think he might actually be Bright Powder. If he's Guts and not carrying Orb, one of the Orbs, he might potentially be Bright Powder. Which is really annoying. Um, oh jeez. Okay, so I, I'm i gonna go with Power on the Metagross. I don't want to miss that Swallow again. Well, I guess at that point it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to go for Heat Wave. Well, no, Heat Wave won't take out a Mega Metagross, so I'm going to go for Earth Power just in case. I'm going to go for Trick Room just in case. Um, I, will outspeed, I won't outspeed anything, so if I don't get it off, it's not a big deal. But if I do get it off, it's a bigger deal because um, it's important. Oh, that Bullet Punch. What are you Bullet Punching? Okay, so you Bullet Punch that. Please tell me you go for Fly like an idiot. Please tell me you go for Fly. Um, Aerial Ace. What are you running? Fly, Brave Bird, and Aerial Ace without... with guts, but not... What the hell? Okay, um, that's bizarre. I think... Oh my god, that was really annoying that I missed those heat waves. That thing definitely would have gone down. Oh man, that is so annoying. I mean, things like that does do happen, and it's not a tournament, so it's really not a big deal. Um, I don't really know what to do. I I have to hope that knockoff that I, I live a brave bird. Um, I'm gonna go for trick room because I kind of have to. Okay, he's gonna go for bullet punch, so I'll, I'll survive that really easily. And he goes for aerial ace. Which is odd. He didn't even target the Tangrowth. <laughs> okay. Um, and I get the knockoff, and that does nothing. Jesus, that did nothing. Um, I have an idea. He's probably gonna go for bullet punch again. So I guess I just keep going for knockoff. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's about three hit KO. So if I can get, if I can do this, if I can kill the Swallow with this hit which I do, I could probably come back. Uh, we'll see. I get Mummy with... Uh, Metagross isn't running Encore or Taunt, so it's really not a big deal. And the main attacker right now is actually Tangrowth. Okay, so good. I can't, Okay, I can't take a Meteor Mash, though. But the, the damage he was doing, I don't think will kill me? No, okay, it does. It still does kill me. Um, but we get rid of his Tough Claws! Okay, that actually works really well, because uh, now my Tangrowth can definitely beat it, because it's a physical wall for the most part. Okay, I'll take it, because even a bullet punch probably won't do anything. A knockoff should take it out. Yes. Okay, so that still worked well, even though I missed, missed those misses. Uh, I'm very glad. I'm very glad he went for bullet punch that first turn and not Meteor Mash. I think he thought it would be enough to take me out. But, bro, you don't play enough Aromatises to know, because that, no way. And they did less than what I was calcing the other night, so I don't think he was max attack. Um, because I was calcing that out, and max attack Meteor Mash, one hit KOs me no matter- Oh! Oh no, that was Altaria. That was Altaria, so maybe he needed the bullet punch to do some damage, but I don't, I don't know. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.